Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to build a CSS selector for the suggested friends. For this, I just went to the tab friends and then open suggestions. And I want to get a CSS selector for this list of friends. I want to have a link and I want to have a text. Um, so as usual, click on inspect to open this console and to analyze what's inside. As usual, we're going to be looking for something that gives us um, some attribute, which is going to be unique enough. I want to point out, as you can see here, those are all span and div elements, but you need, if you want to save a link, you need the a tag. And this is where I can see it here, a tag. But as you can also see, I hover over it. It selects kind of the whole card. So it won't save the name of the profile. It won't save, um, so that's, this is, for example, a case uh, which doesn't come up very often, but this is the case where I cannot save the text inside of the A tag, and I would need two different selectors, one for saving the name of the profile and one for saving the link of the profile. Let's start with the link. So it's um, a role link. And I also need to see where is actually this uh, list happening. And as I can see, it, it's happening here. So there is a div that's going to represent the list. And inside, I'm going to have a withdrawal link. Um, let's see. There is also div area label suggestions, which is a good starting point because it's very unique value. And this will narrow down to just this left sidebar, as you can see. Okay, so let's start with that. Let's uh, type that in. Div area label. suggestions, <clears throat> then adding div for, well, actually what I usually prefer is to first find the right selector and then deal with the list structure. And this is what I would also recommend to you. So for now, I would just do that. And the next element that I would directly try is a with the role link. Remember, um, the linear your selector is, the better usually it is. So I'm trying to not add too much hierarchy. Uh, in fact, also, for example, row link will probably be part, will be an attributed value of any A tag. Uh, so I may even remove that part. We'll see. So clicking Enter. Gives me actually, gives me almost. So I still got that part, as you can see, with the friends and the back, because they also fall, they are also links and they fall into that category, sort of. Oh, and I also get the people inside, as you can see here. So I need to do something about it. So, um, So let's see, uh, what I see here also this div with data visual completion and style. So I like to click on this and just to see, I'd like to click on that and see uh, what is, for example, the structure of those. So is there, for example, a div also with before that, that has this visual completion attribute or not? Uh, in fact, actually it does. It also has the style. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what else we can do. Um, so probably this data visual completion won't help because there is another one that's like that, but a strict hierarchy would probably help because as you can see here, this is um, this is kind of directly underneath, but if we switch back to that other one, 
uh, we can see that there are there is more before we get to A. So there are there is object, there is div, there are many more elements between the div and the A. So adding the strict hierarchy would probably solve this problem. And adding the data, data visual completion. So let's try it out. Um, div on data visual completion. Um, also, by the way, you don't always need to add the value. You can also just simply add the attribute and that's it. And here I would add the strict hierarchy, right? So to make sure that um, we can differentiate it this way. Okay, let's see what happens. I believe I didn't copy it, correct? Oh, I did. So um, basing here. Click and enter and see what happens. I already now have 10 elements, so that's great. And it looks like we identified the very correct, uh, the very correct element. That's great. Now let's take a look at that, where we need to add the NS child element, right? So first of all, uh, let's see, this is where we've got this inside. And before that, you can see there is this div and this represents the whole list. So in this case, uh, I'm hitting arrow up and I'm going to add here an additional div. Remember that div with NS child is before that div with data visual completion. Adding here um, the NS child element. And surprisingly, I'm getting 10 results. So for some reason, it wasn't differentiated enough. So what I could also try, I could try to go for a strict hierarchy like this. Uh, we got nothing. Let's try with a different number just in case the list does not start with one. And indeed, we got the right one. So this is where the list starts with two and not with three. Perhaps one was reserved for this area with the suggestions. Hitting enter for three got us the right selector to hidden enter for four, uh, got, a, got us also the right element. So we're done for the link. And when it comes to the, and yes, indeed, as you can see, the first element is actually this header, which is people you may know. If you look at this structure here, it starts from the second, from the second one. Now to get to the, um, to the text, uh, you need to get, in this case, to the span element, um, either this or that. Both would sell, save you the text, uh, also this one. So really any of those span elements. And I don't see any span elements before that. So uh, this is where I would simply, if I had not enter, I would simply add another span as a loose hierarchy. So just space, no strict hierarchy and then hit enter, um, just hit enter and let's see if we got the right one. So we got uh, indeed actually a few more. So um, let's, uh, let's differentiate it a little bit stricter. So let's see, we've got here this div element and then we have a few kind of inside Let's see, let's see. So we've got here, somewhere here, we have this additional part, as you can see here. So we could differentiate on this part. So we could say div and as child one, so that we are selecting the one above and not the one at the bottom. And after that, what we could also try is see if we can add strict hierarchy. Um, let us try first with the first approach. As mentioned uh, multiple times before, there can be many ways to deal with the situations. And let's just make sure we know which selector that was. So this is where we have kind of, you know, a list within a list. 
So this is a list of two elements, one representing the top and one representing the bottom. We need the top one. That's why let's add it. Um, that was before the span, but after the link element, uh, NS child one. Uh, as you can see already in the preview, there will be more, there will be 11. So I would also like to add some strict hierarchy. Uh, so we have here this NS child one, after that one div, one more div, and then span. So it's getting better. We're getting from 11 to five, but we still have several. Um, what we can also observe, so let's get back to this one. What we can also observe is that it has D, D, I, R, auto, auto. So, uh, let's try with that. So add here simply EIR equals single quotes, auto single quotes. Mm, that I can already see in the preview that didn't solve our problem. Um, we can add one more span with a strict hierarchy and one more. And this got it right. So we got the right one. Um, it's the last bit, right? So why did I add additional span elements? This is because from what I see here, um, I have here one span with DIR auto. And after that, one more span and one more span. So this, I have a hi strict hierarchy of three spans uh, following each other. And if we check, um, for example, this, this other elements, they, uh, didn't adhere to that structure. What could have also helped, I suppose, is adding a more a strict hierarchy here between A and D of NS child. Um, so as usual, there are different ways to get to that. We could have also tried using siblings. Um, or adding strict hierarchy on another part. So as mentioned between this A and D. Uh, so experiment with that, see uh, how it works. In this case, strict hierarchy towards the end of the selector worked. And this is, for example, the selector I would be using. Thanks for watching.